Remember the Pizza Hut Bigfoot pizza from the 90s? All good things must come to an end, and even the tastiest of foods don't stay on the menu forever. Here are 10 discontinued Pizza Hut items we desperately miss. So let's dig in. Pizza time. Sicilian lasagna pizza. Lasagna. Lasagna? What the hell's the matter with you? Everyone loves lasagna, not just Garfield. It's tasty on its own, but it's even better combined with pizza. The Ninja Turtles would approve. Pizza Hut's Sicilian lasagna pizza was a match made in heaven. It debuted way back in 2006 when Justin Timberlake brought Sexy back. The innovative pizza was an immediate success with fast food aficionados, but it was only on the menu for a limited time. Foodies who couldn't get their hands on one had a serious case of FOMO. Fans have been begging Pizza Hut to bring back this unique pie, but they haven't had any luck so far. No, God! Pizza Hut didn't just haphazardly combine pizza with lasagna to create the Sicilian lasagna pizza. Skilled food scientists worked around the clock to get the Sicilian lasagna pizza just right. For starters, the noodles were left on the sidelines. That would simply be too many carbs. The pizza was topped with ground beef, parmesan, and ricotta cheese, all essentially ingredients for a mouth-watering lasagna. The result was a combo that looked and tasted similar to a Chicago deep-dish pizza. Pizza Hut could have ended the Chicago-slash-New York rivalry once and for all because everyone loved the Sicilian lasagna pizza. If you want to see the Sicilian lasagna pizza return, keep dreaming. Pizza Hut has no plans to bring it back. Twisted Crust Pizza Crust first. Pizza first or crust first? It was tough to decide in the early 2000s when Pizza Hut introduced the twisted crust pizza. Let's face it, pizza crust is not the most exciting piece of the pie. However, Pizza Hut had an ingenious solution, no more bland pizza crust. The outer edge of the twisted crust pizza was made of tasty breadsticks instead of a boring old traditional crust. How clever. Smart, man. Smart. Pizza Hut even offered a new gooey cheese dip for dunking. Everyone was ripping and dipping. If the Twisted Crust pizza was around today, Korean mukbangers would be having a field day. It was a pizza that was truly ahead of its time, and it's frankly shocking that it went the way of the dinosaurs. Pizza Hut did try to revive the Twisted Crust pizza in 2015, but nostalgia wasn't enough to make it a success. Fans hated the new Twisted Crust pizza and complained that it tasted nothing like the original. Pizza Hut clearly didn't learn from the new Coke fiasco. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The Twisted Crust pizza also saved folks a lot of money. Why order a side of breadsticks when the crust itself is made of breadsticks? Maybe that's why Pizza Hut discontinued the Twisted Crust pizza. There's clearly money to be made in the breadstick business. You don't get to be as big as the hut by giving away free breadsticks. Pizza Hut Salad Bar. Ron, would you like some salad? <laughs> Since I am not a rabbit, no, I do not. Pizza Hut is a lot different today than it was in the late 80s and early 90s. Back then, Pizza Hut was actually a sit-down restaurant complete with arcade machines, gaudy maroon booths, and stained glass light fixtures. Imagine the bar from Cheers as a pizzeria. Salad bars reigned supreme, and birthday parties were held there almost every day. Nowadays, Chuck E. Cheese has the market cornered on birthday parties. Pizza Hut even had waiters back in the day. Today, a sit-down Pizza Hut is rarer than a holographic Charizard card. Takeout and delivery are pretty much your only options if you're craving Pizza Hut. Millennials are pining for the days you can make your own salad at Pizza Hut, but you can't stop progress. The salad bar will likely never return to Pizza Hut. Ah, uh, horse! <laughs> The last few sit-down Pizza Huts in the United States are on their last legs. Pizza Hut's corporate owner, Yum Brands, recently reduced the number of sit-down Pizza Huts in the United States to just under 7,000 locations. The sit-down Pizza Hut is sadly going the way of Blockbuster. If you really want to make your own salad at Pizza Hut, then you'll have to take a trip across the pond. Many Pizza Huts in the UK still have salad bars. You can enjoy a Pizza Hut Caesar salad with your Earl Grey tea. Taco Pizza. It's Taco Tuesday!
Taco Tuesday or Pizza Friday? How about Taco Pizza every day? It sure sounds great, but it's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Pizza Hut's Taco Pizza was incredibly popular way back in 1979, but there's almost no chance this unique pizza is going to make a comeback. Most original fans of the Taco Pizza are probably chilling in Florida and enjoying retirement, but they're still begging Pizza Hut to bring back this legendary fast food hybrid. The Pizza Hut Taco Pizza was more than just a pizza with a Mexican twist. It featured a delicious blend of cheeses, refried beans, ground beef, lettuce, and crisp tomatoes, all essential ingredients for a delicious taco. But that's not all. It also came with a side of paste picante sauce for dipping. Now that's a spicy pizza. The only thing missing was the taco shell. But who needs a crunchy corn tortilla when you have pizza crust? There are rumors that some Pizza Hut locations will still make the taco pizza if you ask nicely. Pretty please. But it's not as simple as just placing an order online. For a short time in 2004, it seemed like the taco pizza would be back for good, but Pizza Hut's Fiesta Taco Pizza was short-lived. Maybe one day we'll see the taco pizza on the menu for good. Panormous Pizza. Big. Huge. The Panormous Pizza was big enough to feed an army. Even Matt Stoney would need a few extra minutes to down this ginormous pizza. Sadly, the Panormous Pizza went the way of the dodo, and it's not currently on the Pizza Hut menu. However, Pizza Hut has brought it back before, so never say never. The Panormous Pizza was the perfect Super Bowl snack because it was 40% larger than any other Pizza Hut pizza. At least that's what Pizza Hut claimed. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Pizza Hut was probably being truthful, but most foodies were too full to actually get out a ruler and double check. The Panormous Pizza wasn't just large, it was also rectangular. Little Caesars would like a word, please. As impressive as the Panormous Pizza was, it was also sort of redundant. You can order two pan pizzas and get even more. After all, one pizza is never enough. The Panormous Pizza was an incredible bargain back in 2009. You could get a whole Panormous pizza for just $12.99. That was just over 80 cents a slice. If pizza was still that cheap today, you'd probably be eating at Pizza Hut all the time. Big Italy Pizza. Let me handle this. Ah, uh, scusi. Bye -bye -boopy. 12 bucks for a two foot long pizza? Deals don't get much better than that. Shut up and take my money! Pizza Hut must have been losing boatloads of money on the Big Italy. There's no other explanation for why this pizza was discontinued. The Big Italy was the ultimate mix and match pizza. It could be ordered with up to three toppings, so the combinations were almost limitless. We frankly don't have time to list all the options available, but there were plenty of choices for both meat eaters and vegetarians alike. The Big Italy pie made headlines in 2010 when Pizza Hut gave away 1,000 gift cards to hungry fans to celebrate the launch of the Big Italy Pizza. The gift cards were only worth $15, but that was more than enough for a Big Italy Pizza. There was money left over for a drink. You probably want to get in a time machine so you can score a Big Italy Pizza for yourself, but don't be so hasty. There's always a chance Pizza Hut could bring it back. A slim chance, but there's still hope. Hershey's Chocolate Dunk I have both type 1 and 2 diabetes. Ow! Is there a better combination than chocolate and pizza? We don't mean together, but a nice brownie or some chocolate ice cream is the perfect way to top off a pizza dinner. It makes absolutely no sense that Pizza Hut stopped selling Hershey's chocolate dunkers. These chocolate breadsticks were an extremely tasty treat and the perfect complement to a piping hot pepperoni pizza. That's the sweet taste of triumph. Fans were having serious sugar withdrawals when Pizza Hut took Hershey's chocolate dunkers off the menu. Menu, and some chocoholics were so desperate that they even started making their own dunkers at home. Even a baker as skilled as Rachel Ray wouldn't be able to perfect the recipe, so it was a futile effort. Hershey's chocolate dunkers were tasty, but they were far from perfect. They tasted great fresh out of the oven, but if you left them out too long, they would turn into a chocolate brick. Some foodies miss the dunkers so much.
much that they started petitions to bring back the chocolatey breadsticks. So far, the petitions have fallen on deaf ears. Pizza Hut just doesn't care. Is it really too much to ask for some pizza dough and Hershey's chippets? That's pretty much all they were. So why is Pizza Hut being so difficult? Oh well, that just means more customers for Domino's. A chocolate lava cake is almost as good as a box of Hershey's chocolate dunkers. Triple Decker Pizza. A triple decker ham and cheese from the cafeteria. The 90s were a much simpler time. Norm McDonald was hosting Weekend Update and the Beastie Boys were tearing up the charts. It was also the decade of insane food items. Pizza Hut's triple decker pizza was no exception. It was the poster child for gluttony and, as they said in the 90s, totally radical. The triple decker pizza had a lot in common with the Big Mac and Crunchwrap Supreme. This pizza was all about layers. The first layer was a delicate thin crust and layer two consisted of a generous portion of Pizza Hut's six cheese blend. Now describe what you taste. Cheese. The top layer consisted of yet another thin crust, plenty of toppings, and even more extremely gooey cheese. The result was an artery clogging pizza unlike any other. Even keto dieters couldn't resist this carb-tastic pie. Unfortunately, the triple decker pizza was canceled and it probably won't be making a miraculous return. Pizza Hut has no plans to bring back the triple decker pizza, but you could always wish upon a falling star. Hot dog stuffed crust pizza. I'm just getting a hot dog. Stuffed crust pizza put Pizza Hut on the map, but the fast food chain wanted to take things to the next level. That's where the hot dog stuffed crust pizza came in. Cheese inside the crust is one thing, but putting hot dogs inside the crust is even wilder. The Epic Mealtime folks would be mighty proud. Pizza Hut's hot dog stuffed crust pizza was not long for this world, and maybe that's a good thing. Who knows how many heart attacks it caused. To make this bizarre concoction, Pizza Hut put miniature Angus beef hot dogs inside the pizza crust. Basically, it was a pepperoni pizza surrounded by a ring of pigs in a blanket. The pizza even came with French's mustard and Heinz ketchup for dipping. Dip, 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 dip. It probably wasn't very popular in Chicago, where putting ketchup on a hot dog is a sin. The hot dog stuffed crust pizza debuted in the UK before making its way to the land of Ryan Reynolds. After debuting in Canada in 2015, the pizza made its way to South Korea. After K-pop stars had their fill, the pizza finally debuted in the good old US of A. A brand new Star Wars movie and hot dog stuffed crust pizza? Yeah, 2015 was a pretty good year. The Pizzolo. You got a sandwich! That's a disgusting sandwich, really? Back in 2012, Pizza Hut set its sights on Subway in an effort to become the new sandwich king. It was a bold strategy, but it didn't pay off. Unfortunately, Pizza Hut's Pizzolo was no match for the legendary $5 foot long. The Pizzolo was half stromboli and half sandwich, but it also sort of resembled a pizza pocket. Or as you Americans like to say, Calzones. That's probably why it failed. The Pizzolo featured a soft golden crust and came in three flavors, buffalo chicken, meat trio, and Italian steak. Pizza Hut clearly had meat lovers in mind when creating the Pizzolo. The meat trio Pizzolo was stuffed full of pepperoni, sausage, and ham. It was truly a dish fit for Ron Swanson. The buffalo chicken Pizzolo was a slightly healthier option. Foodies who got to try one said the chicken was juicy and spicy. It tasted better dipped in ranch. The Italian steak pizzolo wasn't Kobe beef, but what would you expect for $3? Even though the steak was subpar, it still had its fans. However, not everyone was a fan of the pizzolo. Some folks even said it was a pizzero. Based on that reaction, don't expect Pizza Hut to ever bring back the pizzolo. Even dipping the pizzolo in marinara didn't help things. Some folks just hated it. Pass. Yeah. Bite into more great videos. Just tap or click. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad. And hey, leave us a comment.